What is going on guys? Jason Burke here, Styles Clash for Life, coming at you on YouTube, and today I've got some football focus. The Pittsburgh Steelers' first preseason game finally happened on Friday night. Uh, as I record this, it is Sunday morning. I'm um, sorry for the delay. I got stuck at work doing a, uh, a shooting a theater show. I had a big gig yesterday, so I could not uh, you know, talk about the game. But I wanted to quickly, uh, without notes, totally off the top of my head here, off the cuff, I wanted to talk to you guys about the first preseason game, Steelers versus Bucks. Um, and the Steelers won the game 30-28, to I think the final score was. Pittsburgh won by two. Uh, but nobody cares about the final score. Nobody really cares who wins in preseason. It's about finding players and moments and plays to be excited about and figuring out who can make the roster and who goes where on the depth chart. And we certainly had plenty of that in this game. Pittsburgh had a lot uh, to be excited about, a lot of good pressures on defense, a lot of young players got to shine a little bit. A lot of um, third and fourth stringers got real playing time. And uh, the offense moved very, very well throughout this game. So it was a very positive uh, win for us. A lot of positive players making splash plays out there for us. So I'm just going to go quickly off the cuff, uh, break down position by position, and talk to you guys about the winners and losers of this first game. And again, take into account that all the things I say, it's just preseason. A lot of these guys are playing against third and fourth stringers. Uh, it's only one game. For a lot of guys, it's their first game of their careers. So you can't put too much stock in this, but at least um, I've got some feedback on what these guys did out there. Quarterback-wise, we saw three guys play. Um, most of the game was played by, by Hodges. Devlin Hodges, Duck Dynasty, played most of the game. But we did see Josh Dobbs start and Mason Rudolph come in uh, second. Ben did not play. Um, everyone's talking about this. All three quarterbacks played well. People have said that Josh Dobbs didn't play that well. I thought he was fine. <clears throat> uh, he did hit the big 50-yard pass uh, down the field to James Washington. He extended a couple of plays. He made a few plays on his feet. He ran a couple of times, including one long first down run. Uh, so while he might have looked the weakest out of the three, he didn't look as good as Rudolph or um, Hodges. He was playing against a lot of the, the Buccaneers' first team guys, and I thought he was fine. Uh, he didn't look amazing or anything, but I thought he played serviceably. Um, I guess Rudolph and Devlin played a little better and got some touchdowns, so they're getting more love. But the way it's going to play out is uh, Rudolph and Dobbs are going for that second string quarterback spot. The other guy is going to get the third spot. Hodges is going to be cut. We're going to see Ben, Dobbs, and Rudolph in some configuration on this roster. But again, um, Dobbs made some plays with his feet. He had a couple of nice throws. Rudolph came in, uh, had some nice connections with Washington, one big third down conversion to extend a drive, um, also one touchdown to Washington, another one that was just out of bounds. Uh, so Rudolph looked very, very good. He showed a lot of improvement, much like Dobbs did from Season 1 to Season 2. We're seeing that as well, it looks like, from Mason Rudolph. Hodges came in and looked very, very good for a fourth-string quarterback. This guy is worthy of being on a roster. He's not going to make this roster, but he's going to make a roster somewhere because he played well as well. I think he could be a third-string quarterback on a lot of teams in the league right now, so look out for him as well. He played pretty well. Running the ball, Jalen Samuels was in for a couple of things, mostly pass catching. Looked pretty good, and like I think he only had two or three touches, but he was very solid out there for that. Benny Snow got most of the load. He didn't look very good to me. And again, first game of his career, uh, was playing against uh, early on against some some main guys and then came in later. Uh, he did look better as time went on, and he did run tough between the tackles. He was hard to bring down, but he just didn't get much in terms of holes or footwork. I didn't see a lot of him breaking anything beyond little three-yard, two-yard runs. Got a couple losses as well. Uh, so didn't look amazing, but did get better as he wore on, and he did run hard, which is a positive. So I, didn't, I thought Snow didn't look as good as I expected to, but again, it's just one game. Uh, but Samuels looked pretty good. Connor did not play. Um, wide receivers, Washington, absolute star. He had close to 100 yards and a touchdown in the first half, plus another touchdown that was just out of bounds, uh, plus a 50-yard downfield catch that he made. He was high point in the ball. His hands looked good. He was extending drives on third down catches. He just looked amazing. He did the same thing last year in preseason and then did not play well in the regular season. So hopefully this time now with an extra year and getting along with Ben a little better, he's going to be either the two or the three. He's competing with uh, Moncrief to either be the second receiver or be the third receiver in the slot. I think he's got a good chance of being at least number three this year. If he can do half of what he does, does in the preseason for the regular season, he's going to be someone to watch this year as a breakout guy. Um, other wide receivers, Tevin Jones looked really good. He's not going to make the roster, but he got a touchdown and a few nice plays. Um, Johnny Holton, the, the speedster from the Raiders, 
he had a couple nice things. He had a deep catch. He had one crossing pattern. He turned into a deep ball with his feet. Um, he drew a pass interference on a third play. He made lots of plays downfield, made some splashes, got a couple returns as well. I like him, but unless he gets like a six receiver spot, I don't see him getting a shot here. Um, our rookie tight end did catch a touchdown pass. He had two nice catches in this game. Kevin Rader with a big fumble. Um, these guys are fighting for the third tight end spot. In reality, it's going to be Vance, Xavier, Grimble, and then uh, the rookie. So we're not going to see Raider or any of those guys. Um, but nice to see the rookie playing and making a few catches, especially in the end zone. Um, Line-wise, our line didn't seem to play that well, but we have a couple of backups came in and played pretty well. On defense, most of the splash came from the linebackers. Um, Ola Adenahi got around many times and got a few pressures. Uh, but did not really get any big sacks or splash plays. He got a nice combined fourth down stop. Devin Bush was our star in this game. Devin Bush, uh, seven solo tackles, three uh, combined uh, combined tackles, so ten tackles total in just the first half. He was everywhere. He made the big fourth down stop to create the turnover on downs. He was uh, guarding linebackers. He was doing a lot of things in there. He was blitzing. He was run stopping. He looked like he was in total command. He looked to be every bit as good as advertised. Also, Anthony Ciccolo was all over the field, made a lot of plays in coverage, was looking physical, was, was getting around guys. Uh, those two guys, obviously, Bush is going to be starting. Ciccolo is going to be one of our prime backups on this team. I like what he did. Later in the game, in the fourth quarter against backups, Ulysses Gilbert looked really good. He came in and played for maybe half a quarter, maybe the full fourth, but did not play too long, only a few series. But he intercepted a two-point conversion. He got... Um, one or two sacks. I think he got one sack and a forced fumble. So three splash plays in less than a full quarter. Again, it was against fourth string guys, but still Gilbert came into play in short time and made the most of his time in there. I like what he did in there a lot. Uh, Robert Spillane was someone that was not on my radar at all at linebacker, but he surprised me. Uh, he did get beat by a few linebackers in coverage, but he played every ball contestedly. He was physical. He knocked uh, two balls out of linebackers' hands in coverage, so he did contest and knock down a few passes. He got in for several tackles. He was just around the ball a whole lot. He had good, good ball presence and was very physical. I enjoyed Spillane coming in there out of nowhere. Uh, Corner-wise, I didn't like a lot of what I saw from Justin Lane. Playing against the starters in the first quarter and a half, he played way off the ball. He was just like five steps back way too long. He was allowing 10, 11, 12-yard catches every time it was in his direction, playing way too far off the ball. In the second half against the lesser talents, he was playing up a lot closer and got more physical. He made some tackles around the line of scrimmage in the run game, which was positive, but I just didn't like a lot of his coverage, uh, especially early on and some of the stuff late as well. So again, first game of his career, he's going to learn and play tighter, but his coverage was just off in this game. Uh, Safety-wise, I didn't like a lot of what I saw. From P.J. Locke tried to play underneath on one play and got beat for a long play. Uh, a couple linebackers beat him. Drayvon Askew Henry didn't look much better in there to me. Uh, Marcus Allen was okay. He didn't really stand out. I'm kind of ambivalent about him in this first game. He wasn't good nor bad. Um, but a lot of these backup safeties didn't play that well. So I think Jordan Dangerfield has got a leg up. I think Jordan Dangerfield and Marcus Allen are probably our two backup safeties uh, based on what I saw in this game. Uh, so those are some of my standouts, some of the guys that I thought really made some splash plays. Uh, again, on offense, James Washington was huge. On defense, it was it was uh, Bush, it was Chicolo, it was Spillane, it was Ola. Uh, it was um, Tyler Medikavich got a sack and a forced fumble, which uh, Isaiah Bugs recovered. Those two guys had pretty solid games in there. Uh, so I liked what I saw out of Bugs and Medikevich as well. So what did you guys think of those guys? Also, Boswell made all of his field goals. Jordan Berry punted solid. But Ian Berriman, the rookie, came in and had a couple of nice punts as well. And the backup field goal kicker also challenging. Boswell made his kicks as well. Special teams look really good overall in this game. Uh, so what did you guys think? Who stood out to you? Who were your big pluses and minuses in this game? Tell me in the comments below. And who are you looking forward to seeing playing in the next game? And who do you think will be surprises that make this roster and unseat some veterans? Tell me in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time on Football Focus.